So, oh, stuff this week, stuff this week. So, uh, I, I think, and this is something I'm, I'm trying to get data from you guys on. I got a couple emails about stuff that's due Thursday. There are quizzes posted, but there's also that project posted. And I got a couple people that emailed me and said, I didn't see the project linked. And I, I think it could be a psychological thing, not a, a visual psychological thing. Because the projects were always, the project has always been there, but then when I put the quizzes with it, I think maybe it occludes it a little bit. And I, right. it, yeah. Maybe, maybe. Right. Because as soon as I put the quizzes with it, the project used to occupy 100% of that space. Mm -hmm. And now because the quizzes have descriptions, it's now this big chunk of quiz with this one line of project. And I don't know how to make that better. It should be the very top it's on there. Oh. project, and then quiz, quiz, quiz. I think, but but and that's that's something I'd like to hear from more people if they think that's unclear. I'll break it out and put it in its own spot. So let me know. Email me this kind of stuff. That's the stuff I redid the schedule page this year. So now the schedule page has the the what's due. Remember from my last year, Ken was a little bit messy last year, and Katie. Uh, now it's got what's due, what we did, here's the videos, here's some extra resources. And I thought that made it simpler, but I got, when I got two emails, I'm like, ooh, maybe it's not better. So let me know if you think I can do it more clearly at all. Put that at work and see what it looks like. Because I don't want to confuse anybody. I don't want you to get lost in the schedule page. I'm trying to make it less getting lostable and more <laughs> staying navigable. Oh, God. Yeah. So you see, you see what I'm getting at? Trying to say Sean English. Um, so, <laughs> oh, Sean Dictionary. Sean, oh, you don't want that. Oh, totally. Mm -hmm. do. Make her vision rated. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> so, I think there are three quizzes posted for this week. Of okay. course, you can do any or none of them. And that's the point. Some people looked at it, I want email, I was like, how do you expect me to do four things? I don't. I, I expect you to do the project. And you can let the other ones go for the week. I actually have an in-class quiz. I don't think we'll get to it today. But we'll definitely get to it on Thursday. So you can treat that as your quiz for the week if you want to. And just let these three go. It's not a problem. The also, the also, also uh, I put video, solution videos up for all the quizzes from last week. Yeah. So you can go ahead and look at those if you want. In case you don't want to do the quizzes for this week, they'll have solution videos too. Um, and you can just see me kind of working through stuff. That's just my way of solving things. It doesn't be your way. You can solve things differently if you want, but that's just one way of solving things. Yeah. That was Same. like nice. I like that. Link. Well, good. Yeah, I'll keep it going. Yeah. Thank you. Like, like it's feedback. <laughs> Yes. See, it's feedback and it, it lets you choose your own adventure. I don't want to do this quiz because I just either don't have time or I'm not quite getting it now. That doesn't mean you don't want to look at it at some point and learn something about it. Right. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm trying to break away from that American way of education. You will sit in this room, I'll take your resources away, and you will do a quiz. Like, eh, you know, you guys can learn sitting at your house with a glass of wine in front of the fireplace too, watching a YouTube video. No. It's my way of kind of letting you do that. So good. I want to keep doing that. Mm -hmm. I've got a, a, some of them. I don't know if you guys can tell which one was the new and which one was the one recorded last year. Um, but I, I, I did a brand new one on Saturday, uh -huh. and then I linked a couple that I had used last year, old quizzes. So there's a new quiz and older quizzes, and you know, I'll keep them going for you for sure. Thank I, you. Oh no, you're welcome. Thank you for for watching. I appreciate that um, because I think that is the way we need to be heading: is letting you guys access whatever you need to. And you all know that, right? That's what the World Wide Web is. It's this wonderful access. But the trick is it's so big and so unorganized that finding exactly what you need might be tricky. And that's why I'm trying to categorize as much as I can and putting it in that schedule page. Um, that might be something else you said, Sam. Oh, uh, I got your exams up. Don't freak. I, I, I almost hate calling them exams and quizzes and projects. I almost hate using those terms. Opportunity. Because, good. The larger opportunity yeah. versus yeah. the small opportunity. Yeah. If you think about it, and you haven't, you haven't done an in-class quiz yet, but I've got one ready for us. You've got in-class quizzes, then you've got the out-of-class quizzes, you've got these projects, and you've got these exams. All they are is levels of learning. The in-class quiz, we're learning right at the time. And you can even go before that with our in-class discussions, the videos and in-class discussions. That's like point in time. Then the in-class quiz, quick little recap. The out-of-class quiz, the one-week delay recap. The projects, they're standalones. The exams, the five-week delay recap. What I'm trying to do there is just try, constantly trying to impress upon that part of your memory, which I think is back here, at the point of the right place in your brain where that long-term memory stores. So the exam is now posted for week five. It's not due to week five. You can start it at any point between now and week five. I wouldn't wait till week 4.99 to start it. It's gonna take some reading to get through. I spent three hours making the first question on Saturday, 
And just because it was that graph, that GMO graph I mentioned, I said, I'm going to make this for a quiz for you last week. And I realized when I looked at it, I'm like, no, no, that will be on the exam. It's going to take too long to get it done for this week. So it's done. It's ready. Has anybody got a chance to look at that one yet? Mm -mm. It requires you to put a ruler up to your computer screen, which oh. is kind of old school and new school all at the same time. But it's the only way to deal with the graphic <laughs> that they gave me that I can see with the resolution that they gave me. Yeah, Candice, please. I have a quick question on that because I actually did that already. Oh, good for you. Uh, does, how accurate are we going to have to be on that? Is that going to be exact? No, that's why I had to go out to the nearest whole number on that one. Okay. Because you're, going, you're all going to get vast. That's why I also said to use millimeters. For, I use millimeters. It works great. That's okay. That's okay. There's a lot of writing because, I, like I said, I type like I talk. talk. Um, so you're going to round off. You're all going to round to the same decimal. I have another question, mm -hmm. too. On the um, quizzes that weren't submitted properly and then we had to submit them by email, have you not gotten to those yet? You, yours weren't, weren't registered in the... No, uh, they're still zeros. And I did you... I sent them to you by email. I can resubmit them to you. Please resend it because I don't know why that that should have been fixed. If it was a if it was a blackboard submission, you guys send me those again. Yeah, it says a zero in the blackboard, and it says that they just come see you. What did your progress report say? An F. But then it's still a zero. So you sent me you sent me the hard copies email or hard copy. Send me the email copy, please do too. Okay. Yeah. Yes, okay. and we'll fix that. Okay. That hopefully will now be taken care of with. I, I, I have a note out to Blackboard administration asking me, number one, if I can get back in to your already graded submissions in Blackboard, which I can't figure out how to do right now. Okay. And number two, when they're going to allow JPEG updating okay. for comments. So I, I hopefully have those two answers waiting when I get back to my office today. But go ahead and If anybody got zeros on quizzes because of Blackboard, just email me a copy and we'll deal with them in a case-by-case -case basis. We'll make it right. Yeah. Hopefully, Blackboard, the intent of Blackboard was to make life easier. Um, and I think it's 95% it's there. It's just the 5% that's not there is a 100% thorn in my foot. <laughs> but we're getting there. We're getting there. Cool? That was a lot of information. Hi. Sorry. That was a lot to hit you with right off the bat. Everything else okay? Anybody got a chance to get into the project yet? I apologize for the ridiculous level of mathematics that's in it. Because it's tiny. It's dividing this by this to get this. And I've given you a bunch of the answers because I want you to have the answers sitting in front of you. Mm -hmm. So you know what you're shooting for. And the, all, the only idea of that project is really twofold. Number one, can you calculate a probability very, very basically? And number two, can you interpret what that means? You know, when you tell somebody it's 50-50 for a coin flip, I'll give you a perfect example. I don't know if I told you this, but Max and the roulette wheel, did I tell you this the other day? I don't know if I told you this. So my, one of my uh, students from 105 last term gave me a toy gambling table that he got at like TJ Maxx or something. It's got a roulette wheel, dice cards, super fun chips, great stuff. I brought her home, and Max is like, what's that? And I'm like, this is fun, let's play. He's like, show your kids how to get my neighbors. Like, you show your kids how to gamble? I'm like, nope. And he started spinning the roulette wheel. Now, the roulette wheel is mostly red and black, almost 50-50 with a little bit of green just to take your money away from you. It's very slowly. Max started spinning. And he figured out pretty quickly on, he was, what he was saying, he understood that he should have gotten reds and blacks basically alternatively, but not always alternatively, but basically over time. I realized this because he spun five blacks in a row. And he's like, Daddy, that's weird. And I was like, yeah, that is weird, buddy. And how would you explain it to Max? How would you be able to explain that happening to Max if he already has an intuition that it should be one out of two, roughly? Mm -hmm. How do you explain that kind of lump of five? I leave you with that. Because that's kind of what the project is kind of teasing out of you guys is, how to explain that one half probability doesn't mean you can't get five black, six black, seven black, eight black in a row. That doesn't mean the coin's broken or the wheel is broken. It just means that can happen sometimes. So the idea of what does it mean to have a probability of one half? Because we're getting to the point where we're going to fuse all this stuff together in the world of probability. And understanding what those very basic percentages is so important for that. So anyway, it doesn't involve roulette and my son in the project, but that's, it's amazing how often you have to explain probabilities to people. <laughs> Did I tell you about the kid speeding through my neighborhood? No. No? So, okay. <laughs> Another probability, right? So this was about two, maybe three years ago. And this, I always think about this when I say probability in your life because it just, how many of you have noticed this? Somebody runs a stop sign in your neighborhood. Right, you, you, you've noticed this before, I'm assuming, right? How many of you do the world according to guard thing and go chase them down? Probably not, because you have you have a good self-fulfilling principle and you don't want to get shot in the face. But I went and chased a kid down when I saw him do it, like knocked on his window, scared him, because I showed up at his door knocking on his window, his car window, I didn't have a car yet. It's like, dude, you uh, you're in the stop sign back there. He's like, oh man, I'm sorry, that, that never ever happens. I'm like, really? That never ever happens. That's the first time you've ever run that stop sign. You live in my neighborhood, I've seen you around the neighborhood before, I've seen you driving down the street. 
you've never run that stop sign before? I witnessed the only time that you've ever run the stop sign. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, do you understand how improbable that is? <laughs> that I witnessed the only time? I mean, you drive back and forth here at least twice a day, at least twice a day, and you've lived here for a few years. So we're talking about a thousand trips at least. And you're telling me I watched the one in a thousand times, and you start rolling his back up, and I'm like, uh-uh, no. Yeah. I was like, you watch yourself. And I think I scared the piss out of him, which was the intent, but that's probability, right? I was able to scare him using probability. Not that I want to scare the kid, but I've got a kid, a four-year-old at that point, who's learning not to run across the road. And here comes this kid screaming off of 18th Street with a speed limit of 45 into my neighborhood where it's 25. I've seen a number of cars try to make that turn at 45. I saw one dude, I almost got creamed. I was riding down the road. Uh, Morningstar, which is one block south of where my road is, he came screeching off of 18th, slid sideways, hit his car, faced the wrong way on Morningstar, 20 feet in front of me. The two wheels on the left side crumbled over, bearings everywhere. I'm sitting 20 feet away. Thank God I peed before I left work because I would have peed myself. That's what I don't want to see happening. So I figure any one, it's a one in a thousand chance maybe that something's going to happen or a one in 10,000 chance, but I want to eliminate even that if I can. So again, probability in your lives and where it exists. Crazy to think about it, but still, probability is where it exists in your life. So that was long-winded. I didn't really want to tell you all that today. But, you know, it's kind of that project is the beginning of all of this. Yes. Good. 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 All right. You guys are awesome. Um, so the exam's sitting there waiting for you. I, it's not going to take you two weeks to do. 